Hey, this is Josh back with another LinkedIn advanced training. And uh, in this training session, I want to show you something that I think will help you generate a lot more um, connections and, and visibility for your LinkedIn profile. And the way you do that is by adding a LinkedIn badge to your email signature. Most of us uh, in business, if we're in business, uh, we're sending out quite a bit of emails per day. Um, I know I get dozens or send out dozens of emails per day and um, I'm going to show you how to add a LinkedIn badge to your the footer, the signature of your email if you're using Gmail and uh, it's the same basic thing for Outlook or any of these other uh, or Yahoo or AOL or any of these other um, email service providers that you'd be using but uh, this will get you this will get people that you're sending emails to just without really thinking about it. They'll look at your LinkedIn profile and a lot of them will connect with you. This works really well. So here's how you do that. So you're in your LinkedIn profile and uh, this is under the profile section. So if you click profile, this is will take you here. And what you want to do is you want to go down to where this, your LinkedIn uh, public profile link is right here and click on this gear icon. And the next thing, so this is going to take you to your public profile. So um, you could just put this link in there. So you could just copy this link, which is your LinkedIn uh, public profile link. You could put that into your footer. But I'm going to show you something that works a little bit better. So uh, go down to this section where it says your public profile badge and click create a public profile badge. So what you can do is you can copy this code and paste it into your, the, uh, your email footer. But an easier way to do it, in my opinion, and this depends on what email service provider you're using, is uh, to just right click this and click copy image. And then you're going to want to go back to your email, to your Gmail. I'm going to use Gmail as an example, um, but the, the, the same basic idea will apply no matter what service provider you're using. So in Gmail, you go under this gear icon, you go to settings and scroll down to where you have your signature. So here's my signature. And notice I don't have a LinkedIn profile badge in there. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm just going to paste it. And so that is going to link to my public profile badge, but I need to get that link to my public profile. So I'm gonna go back to LinkedIn, go back one screen, and I'm gonna grab that public profile link that I showed you at the top. So um, I'm gonna copy and paste this. So we're going to copy that, and we're going to go back in here, highlight this uh, LinkedIn badge, and we're going to add a link to it, and that will do it. So now when I create a, um, an email message using uh, Gmail for work, uh, this LinkedIn public profile badge will appear in there. All I need to do is go down and click Save Changes, and we'll go back and see how this looks. So. Uh, click compose email and there you go you see it in my email footer now is linked to my public LinkedIn profile badge it looks good it looks professional um, and people will click that it's you it's impossible not to see it uh, so they will link over to your LinkedIn profile and you will get a lot of connections and a lot of visibility from doing this because people will go to your LinkedIn profile they'll look at what you're doing and if you follow the other steps in this course I'll show you how to make it to where your LinkedIn profile will easily tell them uh, who you are and what you can do for them that benefits them. So um, check out the rest of the lectures and thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Oh, let me show you one more thing. If you would like to get a uh, LinkedIn um, checklist for the 19 steps that you can take to supercharge your LinkedIn profile that can be done in the next 30 days, actually all of these steps can be done in probably a few hours but um, these will these steps are what I wish I had when I started on LinkedIn back in 2008 I didn't do anything with my profile till 2013 consequently I got zero business from it so um, I tried to put together a checklist of the things that I would have wanted to know back then that I know now and so these are those 19 things and I'm constantly adding to it so if you'd like that go to joshgwen.com forward slash LinkedIn dash profile and um, I'll put a link to this below the video. 
and just click on get the checklist and I will send it to you directly. So um, anyway, hope that helps. Thanks again for watching.